the deep deep. Oh! Off the top! He charges in off the rope and the uh, elbow drop. Last match checking. Looks like he's going to be okay though. Drop to hold by the Days off the top rope goes Flash and a go! Western Union, so much more, and Eddie's Zip Food Store is an exclusive AIWF Advanced Ticket Center. Call 789-1748. Ready for dinner but don't feel like cooking? We'll try the Pie Factory located down on South Street in Mount Airy. The Pie Factory home of the 18-inch pizza, large dining room for all your family's needs, and mom and dad, we even have a game room for the kids. Located at 1263 North South Street in Mount Airy, call 786-8886. Presents Capital Punishment. See in the main event, Justin Flash to win the Mid Atlantic Heavyweight Championship against TR Superstar. TJ Cannon returns to take on Kevin Phoenix. The war to settle the score. Natural born player versus Sergeant Kevin Stryker. Also, Phil Stamper and Court Montgomery for the Mid Atlantic Cruiserweight title in a street fight. And James Anthony comes back to take on Chris Show Smoothly. Also, fans the huge Riot on Cell Block A match. Doors open at 6.30, bell time, 7.30 p.m. from the National Guard Army of Mount Airy, North Carolina. Tickets just $8 at the door, kids under six free.
throwing in a shooter. 15 minute time limits. What's Tim doing? You pulled another one. Who is that? Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. The last match for the opening round of the 2014 Heritage Cup. And we're finally get a chance to see Team AIWF Mid-Atlantic as they take on Team Texas. The team made up of Chavez, Kilgore, Galen Ramirez. And on the other side, you got the natural born player, Jimmy Gennetti and TR Superstar. And I'm really wondering if those three people can work together, but if there's anybody who can provide insight into it, it's one half of the Star City Rollers <laughs> right next to me, Jody Osborne. Oh yeah, I mean, uh, you make a good point right there. I mean, right here, I, I don't understand why uh, Gennetti's out there with uh, these other two guys. I mean, TR is definitely credible. Uh, player, you know, with uh, some own personal reservations aside. You know, still worthy, but I mean, let's face it, Team uh, AIWF Mid Atlantic starts, it begins and ends with the roller. Well, that, then I gotta ask jo Jody, what happened? Why was it short straw or? Well, uh, you know, uh, we both, we found out that, uh, you know, they pulled uh, some random names to develop this team. It was easy to, it was a easy decision to go with random because I mean, this is definitely the best talent in the area, so. You pull any three random ones, you got a winner. Holy cow! I'm sorry. What a DDT by yeah, TR. That was nice. Props to TR there. But uh, rollers came up. Me and Janetti went back and forth. We both wanted in this thing really bad. We had a coin toss. He won. He's sitting in there. And uh, I got a nice little night off and get to sit back and enjoy some of this mid Atlantic action for a turn. And now the natural born player coming in. Natural born player. Not a stranger to tag team wrestling either. Oh no, he's uh, very accomplished in his own right. Oh yeah. Uh, even had uh, one or two uh, lucky matches uh, against Stryker. us. Yeah, Sergeant Striker. You know, I don't know how much uh, luck uh, came at the hands uh, with the assistance of Ref Darren in there, but yeah. You know, I mean, the way history's read, you know, they he's definitely got some W's. Power of Chavez now brings Texas back out in the offensive. And Kilgore in there now. Kilgore, a towering, towering individual, going to work on the natural world players on. Slowing the slowing the pace of the match down. Yeah, he, he's not giving a player the attention he deserves. Look at him looking around. You know, just because I don't like the man, you know, give him credit. See, look at that, right there. Yeah, and the player's one of those guys that can capitalize when the opponent is distracted. Oh, yeah. Oh, definitely, definitely. I mean, I, yeah. <laughs> I felt it myself, yeah. you know. Absolutely, and there, you're, it's your tag team partner. Oh, yeah. Jimmy in there. Oh, yeah, this is where it's going to pick up. Watch this. This is, is, this is the one's going to show him how to get it done. Show him how to get it done by cheating. Oh, not by cheating. Where's the cheating? Oh, I'm Where's sorry. Where's Jeanette? That... Jeanette isn't cheating anything. He's talking to ref. Probably just telling him, you know what? From here on out, pass is pass. Let's move on. Good, clean counts. Keep it even. Probably just you know, asking Darren to clear the air. Oh, that is some... Oh, I won't even go there. But nobody home. Janetti trying to go in with speed though, and Team Texas now. And here comes the last member of their team, Galen Ramirez. You want to talk about somebody who is very narcissistic, it's Glenn Galen Ramirez. I mean, he's a polite individual, but the only topic he was interested in was himself. And, and now at this point, Jody, what has Jamie got to do to get off that mat? Oh, Jimmy, oh, you know, he's, he's just he's just Sorry. catching his breath, and look at him. See, he's moving. He's making it happen. 
Yeah, this is all strategy. He's playing possum. He's just he, giving him a false sense of security, waiting for him to look the other way. He's up just ever so slightly. And watch it. You'll, you'll, you'll see what happens. You'll see a man who knows his craft. You'll see what he does right here. The only thing I see right now is Ramirez continuously dropping the knee on that arm of Jimmy Gennetti. I'm telling you, it's false hope. It's, it's all part of the strategy. See, so, people, they just don't understand the rollers is what it is. You, you guys are getting the mind that way by getting beat up. Well, see, look, right there. Look, got the man in the corner. Yep. He's out of it. He's free. He's free. What a clubbing for. Oh! TR Superstar was going to try to get where, where was ref Darren on that closed fist? What? I was busy looking at TR Superstar cheating with that clubbing four on. And now, Chaz back in. And Jannetty not meeting where he needs to be. Where, where would you say this guy's name was? Uh, the one in there with him now. Chaz, I believe. Chaz, yeah, you Chaz. know, it's the last minute replacement, which is another thing. Yeah. After uh, Gennetti found out he was going to be in this thing, right? you know what? He trained for Rudy Boy. Yeah, I, I was surprised myself. I mean, I seen Rudy, Rudy Boy on the lineup. I got all my information together in my notebook. I went back, researched Rudy Boy, and then this happened. Yeah, you know what? He, he did everything to prepare for Rudy Boy, this last-minute substitution. You know, we even came down here. Uh, oh, no, uh, Ru Rudy Boy. Uh, did you hear about it? He had that clinic. Yeah. He had a little clinic today to help some other guy. Yeah. We came down here to do a little scouting just to get a little more heads up. And uh, the only thing we found out was, uh, you know what, his clinic had a lot of people. Right. It was uh, very informative. Yeah. The only thing is being informative on uh, on Santa Fe Rice and uh, making no, tortillas. No, no, you know no, what, no. that does nothing for wrestling. Wait a minute. He ripped them boys no, off today. No, he did not. He's not talking about Santa Fe Rice and being... He gave them some very great insight into this industry. Well, we must have hit it while they were taking a break for lunch because oh. we walked in here. All we saw him was up there flipping up a storm on his little flat grill. Oh. But <laughs> but to his credit, to his credit, it smelled good. Oh. And sitting here looking at him from across the way here, it obviously tastes good too. Oh. But, you know, I, I, we'd already ate on the way in, so we kind of kept our distance. PR superstar getting Team Texas riled up and the referee having to get the illegal man out while the natural born player got an opportunity to uh, beat up the surprise replacement and TR has him up and a great backbreaker. Wait a minute. Going into that pin. Looked like a backbreaker into a knee breaker. Oh. Oh. And it looks like he's been going for that, that big elbow drop. That's a solid elbow, too. Yeah. And, I, and TR Superstar, I was surprised, put his name in the hat for this because he's been so focused right now on Justin Flash. I mean, you just go back and you watch those videos. I mean, he wants that Mid-Atlantic Championship. Oh, yeah. And, and Justin, you know what? He, he's ducking him. He's ducking him what? and dodging no, he's him not right ducking now. Him. So you know what? TR is making sure he is known. No. He's leaving a, a you know an impact or making an impact. He's not going anywhere until he gets what he wants. So you know what? I, I'd hate to be Justin Flash right about now, to tell you the truth. Justin Flash, a great independent champion. He's putting the championship on the line tonight, as well as finally giving TR Superstar a match on February 22nd that we all want to see and see TR Superstar get the revenge he so richly deserves at the hands of Justin Flash. And the natural born player slowing the pace down now. Cinching it in. Oh, and I can tell you right now, that does not feel good. Absolutely not. I mean, have you been on the end of this before, Jody? Oh, I have definitely been on the other end of this right here. And, uh... You know what? It, let's just say this. Without going too far into a man I have personal differences with. Right. Uh, watching this right here makes me glad I got a night off tonight. Well, I bet. But one, one thing here, uh, Lady Marion over on the side, she's uh, she's not taking too big a part in this thing. And neither is the mystery man that seems to be following TR Superstar continuously giving them orders. And your partner back in the ring. And you, know, you got the advantage. Yeah. Look at that man up. Maybe yeah. you were right. Maybe you were right, Jody. Yeah. 
And you know, and maybe Marion after uh, her little shenanigans that uh, that kind of backfired on them, and you know, it cost them the titles. Maybe that's what she learned from why she's sitting back, you know, getting a grip, keeping things going. That's what she needs to do. Now she, I mean, I know she's been very focused tonight. I mean, I'm sure that the AIWF Mid Atlantic would like nothing more than to win that Heritage Cup and keep it right here in Mount Airy, North Carolina. Oh, you look in there, you got TR, you got Janetti, you got Playa. There is no way that Heritage Cup is going anywhere else. It's staying right here. What a double close line. Who's going to be first? Who's going to make that tag? Saturday night, February 22nd, AIWF presents Capital Punishment. See in the main event, Justin Fleisch to win the Mid-Atlantic Heavyweight Championship against TR Superstar. TJ Cannon returns to take on Kevin Phoenix. The war to settle the score, natural born player versus Sergeant Kevin Stryker. Also, Phil Stamper and Court Montgomery for the Mid-Atlantic Cruiserweight title in a street fight. And James Anthony comes back to take on Chris Show smoothly. Also, fans the huge riot on cell block A match. Doors open at 6.30, bell time 7.30 p.m. from the National Guard Army in Mount Airy, North Carolina. Tickets just $8 at the door. Kids under six free. Looking for a great convenience store? Then look no further than Eddie's Dip Food Store. Located on Andy Griffin Parkway right here in Mount Airy. It's your hometown store. Offering discounts, cigarettes, beer, lottery tickets, prepaid phone cards, Western Union, and so much more. And Eddie's Dip Food Store is an exclusive AIWF Advanced Ticket Center. Call 789-1748. Ready for dinner but don't feel like cooking? We'll try the Pie Factory located down on South Street in Mount Airy. The Pie Factory home of the 18-inch pizza, large dining room for all your family's needs, and mom and dad, we even have a game room for the kids. Located at 1263 North South Street in Mount Airy, call 786-8886. Gilbert showing Janetti one more there. As he rushed in, the natural born player trying to do the same thing. What an elbow. PR Superstar days. Why doesn't the ref get control of this? Look at that. Come on. See, look. Here we go. Ref Darren. Got a roller. In there letting anything and everything go. Well, I mean, the referee has got some latitude. And oh. oh, come on. And look at that. Fast count. Absurd. Darren. Showing once again he has a personal vendetta against the rollers. This is pathetic. Well, I, got, I mean, tonight, I got to agree with you, Jody, because I really wanted to see Mid-Atlantic advance. He stood in there. He let him get double teamed. No count out. No warning. Should have been a clear disqualification. And then he gave a fast count. If there's ever been some kind of bias within an official down here, it is right there. Clear cut. You can't deny it. Ref Darren screws the rollers again. This time screwing the whole Mid-Atlantic. And I'm tired of this. I'm going to the board. I'm out of here. I've had enough. This, it, we will get to the bottom of this. Yeah, I tell you, fans, you definitely don't want to stay. I'm Jody just going over and pretty much lambasting Commissioner Hawks right now. I'm going to go join him. We'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen.
Accommodations for talent provided by Quality in 2136 Rockford Street in Mount Airy, North Carolina, phone number 336-789-2000 or qualityin.com.